was sharing the pastors. And what we're talking about, a violent faith. Now, I, when, I, when I say violent faith, <coughs> I want everyone to understand that I'm not saying it's okay to carry a knife and to go around fighting. That's not what we're talking about. That's what I thought. If you look up the word violence, means excessive force. <laughs> Luke chapter 5. Chapter 5, verse 15. But despite Jesus' instructions, the report of his power spread even faster, and vast crowds came to hear him preach and to be healed of their diseases. But Jesus often withdrew to the wilderness for prayer. See, they came to hear him preach, and they were healed of the diseases. Anytime the word of God is preached, anytime the word of God, and you hear it, two things happens to the believer. One, healing comes. Immediate healing take, takes place to your body. Anytime the word of God is preached, Healing takes place because it's the word of God. The Bible says, I sent my word and healed your disease. Amen. Second thing that takes place, your faith grows. The Bible says, faith comes by hearing of the word of God. Every time you hear the word of God, healing and your faith increases. Amen. 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 17. One day while Jesus was teaching, some Pharisees and teachers of the religious law were sitting nearby. It seemed that these men showed up from every village in all of Galilee and Judea as well as from Jerusalem. And the Lord's healing power was strongly with Jesus. Ah. Man. Some men. Now if you look that up, it's four men came carrying a paralyzed man on a sleeping mat. They tried to take him inside to Jesus, but they couldn't reach him because of the crowd. So they went up to the roof and took off some tiles. Then they lowered the sick man on his mat down into the crowd right in front of Jesus. Can I just share a little bit what's happening? Well, you got to understand, four men walking like this. One guy on this side, one man here, one man here, one man here, walking around with this paralyzed man. And their goal is, we're going to get inside, we're going to bring him to the feet of Jesus, and he's going to get healed. And only of those know how far these men had to walk with this guy. And it's not easy. Did you ever just try to walk with a little suitcase or a little bag in your hand? Ladies, even a little purse on your, on your shoulder. Do collar shoulder from the strap. And you keep switching shoulders with the, with the little purse. It's hard. And they didn't give up. She ain't in the loss. And they probably said, all right, let's switch this side. We'll switch sides. You'll take this side now. This hand will get a rest. But they kept going for it. They didn't give up. And tonight I want to say something. That that's what Jesus is looking for. A Bible will tell that from John the Baptist until now, heaven has suffered violence, but the violent take it by force. See, it's not that easy. The devil ain't going to let you get your blessing and your healing and what you need that easy. He's not going to just say, oh, hi, Stevie. Hey. Listen, I'm sorry. He's not going to allow it. You have to put up a struggle. You're going to have to put up a fight. Sometimes the devil will show you something here. He'll snare you. Forget the healing. Come here. Look what I have for you right here. Preach it. And it's up to you. Are you going to go straight? Or are you going to get off the road of God and follow that? And that's what Jesus is talking about tonight. That's what we're sharing tonight. Violent faith. These men, if they suck a day, now they got to the house where Jesus is. All excited. You can hear the crowd. Yeah, we're almost there. Now we get there. No, we can't get in. We got to get to the roof. To make it easy. 
Now, how do you pick up a paralyzed man on a roof? A pastor, they had ladders back there. You think it's easy? You guys do roofing. You think it's easy to carry that? You guys suffer with that little bucket. I see what you guys go through. A bucket heart thing that is up and down. That's why Harry's Gajente get an Ibuchi. Kokodomu Darwane. Going up and down the, the, the stairs with a bucket. Now picture a, a paralyzed man. So I'll tell you the only way I can picture them doing this. Yet to that is because they are. I'll go up. And they climb, and they climb, and they got to the roof. And now the other man behind him brought up the mat. Okay, now what, smart guy? It was your idea. See, sometimes you're the one who tells the people, I make a kangari, shabari. So I set up the middle deal. I make a kangari, God will change your life. And when you get him here, oh, pastor, kaber divano prichol. Shiro jabo, sir. They prichol in gabadil. Motoni go shokodadil in shiro trai. That's what we really need to do. Wow. So guess what they started to do tonight? They could have said, you know what? Mulyam, now what? Now on the roof, now what? They began to tear off the roof, think of our sensor. A more sure one of them said, Kabu who owns the house? Kabu I don't care. I'm going to put him at the feet of Jesus, and I don't care what it takes. I don't care what happened, I don't care what we have to pay, I don't care what we stuff. have to do. He's Good getting stuff. in. And he kept pulling the tiles off. And you know what? I thank God for the Edison Church. Most of you guys are roofers here. You guys know there wasn't just tiles. Because after the tiles, you get wood. Mm -hmm. Then after the wood, you get like cement or some stuff. To, they're not going to go buy under it. So they just kept tearing. And now they see a little hole. All right. I can see them. Now what? How are we going to put him through the hole? I got an idea. Let's get some rope. And they tied him with the mat. And they lowered him. Four guys. You got to ever try to lower something with a rope? The hardest thing in the world. Or to pick something up. Pabon Nevas, Tukhan Nevas. And these four men, all of us, they lowered him. And they got him right at the feet of Jesus. And now they're shouting on the roof, Thank you, Jesus, we did it! All right! Guess what Jesus says? Son, your sins are forgiven you. What? Hey, that's not what we came for! We came for healing! Your sins are forgiven you! See, we, we walk into the church expecting Yoy Dilla. I'm coming today to get a financial blessing. Yoy Dilla. I'm... God knows what you need. See, God knew if he gets saved and if the sins are forgiven, he really gives him the package automatically. So now the Pharisees are there. Ah, so that's a pinaka cook and show Jesus. Voyati Sardaris Kabizakha, he forgave. Who is he? Blasphemy! Only God can forgive sins. They didn't know him. Because if they knew who he was, they would understand what he was talking about. They didn't know God. Now it didn't say some of the men. It said Pharisees, Sadducees. These are people who walked around with scrolls. They're not being a loss. They used to get paid to stay in the temple and study and study to teach us. Meanwhile, they're looking at the Son of God. Dignable faith, dignable violent faith. Nothing stopped them. Somehow, some way, we're getting this man to the feet of Jesus. I mean, right away, we give up. I went up to him two, three times to begin the church. He don't want to come, Pastor. I call them every Sunday, Shmagadol. We give up right away. They didn't give up. Violent faith. They kept pushing. They kept pushing. They kept having ideas. How do we get in? How do we get in? How do I get through the roof? All right, I'm going to the roof. How do I turn this down? How do I get them down? And they kept doing it until they did exactly what they wanted to do out of slow.